Hey, good morning. It's Rick with Rock Bottom Outreach, day 76 of the journey. So, immediately, if you look, I got a haircut. Can you tell? I got my, my, my little summer cut. And uh, it's one of the things I can control right now. I can't control a lot of things, but I can control at least getting a haircut. And so, when I get the uh, transplant phone call, that's the last thing I want to worry about in the hospital is having to comb my wig. You know what I mean? So, anyway, so I went high and tight, if you would. But, um, you know, um, wow, yesterday, uh, yesterday wasn't an awful day, but it's funny how we can lose control of some things. And one was our AC, the AC went out at the river. And so here we are, we got all these fans blowing and stuff. And you know how you're so used to just getting up and then controlling the thermostat. Like, you know, I want it to be, you know, 68 degrees in here. I, I don't know what it is you sleep with, but, um, anyway, it just, are you the one that do you control the thermostat? Because when your AC goes out, you have no control of the thermostat at all. You have no control of nothing, but running fans and opening windows. And it gives you a new perspective and appreciation of things that you can and cannot control. Correct. And so, um, you know, that's one thing that, that God's really breaking me up right now is, is the ability to figure out what I can and can't control and the actually turning things over to him because I have a type a personality. I just do. And, um, and I will not apologize for that. That's just how God wired me. But um, a lot of times we have a tendency to give things to God and then we take them back. Give them to God, take them back. So like, God, you're moving too slow. We, we don't like God's time a lot of times. And, and we just have to be honest with that. And so, again, the way he does things and he says in his word, my ways are not your ways. He will break you of those things. And why would he do that? Because you gave your life to Christ. You intentionally made the decision to turn your life over to Jesus Christ and let him run your life. But you have this tendency. You want to take everything back. You still want to do everything in your time. And I'm the same way. And it takes practice and it takes time. But sometimes he will take something fully out of your control. He will break you of that because he's a loving father and that's just how he is. You know, relationships, for example, like, Lord, I'm gonna give this relationship to you. But then the next day you're doing the same thing. You know, you're texting that person, you're you're manipulating the situation, whatever the case may be. Same thing with that work, like, God, I'm gonna give my work situation over to you. But then you go in the next day and you make a mess of it because you just couldn't take it out of your hands because you're just controlling that way. Ask yourself this morning, are you so controlling that you're playing God and you're not letting him do his job? Because when you say you trust him and he knows what's best for you, you know, even giving up vices and things like that, that's the same thing, that giving it to God. And it's hard, but in time, everything is his perfect time and you have to trust those things. But this morning, Start every morning by turning your life back over to him, fully committing your day to him and say, Lord, not my ways, but your way be done today. I'm going to trust you today, Lord, and I'm going to get better at letting go and letting God. Think about that this morning. Have a great day.